Hello, welcome. In this video, we are working on Khan Academy trigonometry. We're looking at the unit circle, and within that, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about this practice module, trig values of special angles. So we'll look at four problems from here, and I hope that helps you. So the idea, they want us to use the Pythagorean identity to solve these, and I'll, I'll show you what they're talking about, but I'll, I will also share with you um, my way of solving it, which is very similar, but I just think much more um, uh, simple to work with. So the Pythagorean identity is based on a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so let's do a quick overview of this. So the Pythagorean theorem says that if you have a right triangle, um, a squared, one leg squared, plus b squared, the other leg squared, is always equivalent to the hypotenuse squared. But what we're able to do, do with trigonometry is extend this theorem beyond right triangles. So we go from the Pythagorean theorem and we start to talk about the Pythagorean identity. And this goes beyond right triangles. And it's written as the sine squared of an angle plus the cosine squared of an angle is equal to 1 squared, or just 1. And you can see the similar structure between these two. We have a squared, sine squared, b squared, cosine squared, and c squared, 1 squared. That similarity is not accidental. It's because they're connected. So imagine if we have a y-axis and an x-axis. If I draw a triangle, we'll just start with the right triangle case so you can see it. If I have a right triangle, here's my, my right angle. The idea is, uh, especially in a unit circle, we call the hypotenuse 1. And therefore, the sine of this angle, theta, is equal to the height of the triangle, the opposite side, over the hypotenuse. with some point here, x, y. So, and this is our angle, theta. So the sine of theta ends up equaling this height of this triangle over 1. And that's just y over 1 or just y. So the sine of theta right, is equal to y. And the cosine of theta is equal to this adjacent side, x, over the hypotenuse 1. So the cosine of theta is equal to x. So you could say that x squared, right, this side, squared plus this side squared, y squared, equals the hypotenuse squared, 1 squared. And that's the same thing, x squared plus y squared, as saying the sine squared plus the cosine squared equals 1. and 1 squared, or just 1. And that's a, just a little introduction into the identity. But that's what they're talking about, and that's the idea of where it comes from. So here, you could say if the sine of theta is negative 13 over 85, you could use this identity, sine squared of the angle you're dealing with, theta, theta 1, they call it, plus cosine squared of theta 1 would have to equal 1. So you could say that here the sine squared of theta is equal to um, negative 13 over 85 squared plus the cosine squared of the same angle equals 1, and you can solve for the cosine squared of theta by subtracting this from both sides. So it's going to be 1 minus negative 13 over 85 squared. And then that would give you the cosine squared. And you want what the cosine is, so you just square root both sides. And this would give you the answer. The cosine of theta equals the square root of 1 minus the neg negative 13 over 85 squared. And then you would, you would pull this on the calculator, you'd calculate it, and you'd get 84 over 85. And then there's a question, do you take the positive or negative square root? Well, in this case, you're in the fourth quadrant. So there's a triangle in the fourth quadrant. I'll explain this in a moment. But you're going to deal with the positive square root. Now, that's, that's kind of the approach I think they're hoping you will use. What I do, it's still related to this idea. I just I start off with this premise. Okay, I know I'm in the fourth quadrant, and I know that the sine of my angle is negative 13 over 85. So I do a little sketch, and I find this much more pleasant to do. 
So I've got a triangle centered at the origin on the fourth quadrant. Here's my triangle. This is theta sub one, this is the angle we're looking at. And we, we're just we're told that the sine of that angle is what was it? Negative thirteen over eighty five. Okay. Now I like sketching this out like this because if I'm in the I know I'm in the fourth quadrant. I know there's some angle here. I know this is my right angle. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. It, that means it's 13 over 85. And the question is, right, 13, 85, where do I put the negative sign? I can see it. I can see the downward direction of the y value, which is why our sine is negative, right? So this is our sine value. Then it, we just need to solve for our missing side right here. And we can use the Pythagorean theorem to do that. So it's related because the Pythagorean theorem is connected to the Pythagorean identity. They're essentially the same thing, but here when I use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side, we'll call it x, right? Um, here we're finding, of course, x squared, right? Hypotenuse squared minus leg squared is the other leg squared. And we get, we take the square root of this difference, we get x is 84. And then they want to know what the cosine is. Well, the cosine is just the adjacent side, this side, over the hypotenuse. So it's going to be 84, and it's a positive 84 because of the direction we're going in. X is in a positive direction here. Oops. And so, so we're in the fourth quadrant. Your x value, your cosines, are positive. And that adjacent side over the hypotenuse is 84 over 85, which is exactly what we got here using the formula. And that's what we get. So you can use either approach. I'm going to show the second approach in all of these. It just feels more natural to me. Okay, so in the next one, what do we know? There's an angle, and it's in the second quadrant. So before I even read further, do a little rough sketch. Y-axis, X-axis. There's some triangle in the second quadrant because that's where our angle is. I'll call this the angle right here. So this is theta sub 1. And the sine is 1 over 4. So the opposite, excuse me, opposite over hypotenuse is 1 over 4. And 1 should be positive. It is going up. We want to solve for this, this third side. So we do 4 squared minus 1 squared, or 16 minus 1, which is 15. And this right here, we take the positive or negative square root. Clearly, since we're going left from the origin, we take the negative square root of that difference. So it's the negative of the square root of 16 minus 1, which is negative square root 15. So you can always take the positive or negative square root. I'm taking the negative because of the direction I'm going in. In the second quadrant, cosine is negative because x values are going in the negative direction. So what's the cosine of this angle? Well, it's the adjacent side, negative square root of 15, over the hypotenuse 4. And that's our answer. We go to the next one here. We've got some angles in the fourth quadrant, so let's sketch that. y-axis, x-axis. There's some angle in the fourth quadrant. There it is. They call it theta sub 1. The sine is negative 24 over 25, so it's opposite over the hypotenuse, 25. And the negative applies to this 24 because it's going down. We use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side right here. Oops, let me turn it a bit blue. So I wonder what this leg is. Well, that's 25 squared minus negative 24 squared. And we take the square root of that. We take the positive square root because, again, x is going in a positive direction. So that's going to give us, um, you can take the calculator here, but that's going to give us 7, essentially. So this is 7. So that means that if this side is 7, the one with the cosine is, it's the adjacent side, 7 over 25. Let's do one more. In this last example, we're in the second quadrant. And there's some angle. There it is. We'll draw a triangle around the angle. So here's theta sub 1. Here's my right angle. The cosine now is negative 2 over 11. OK, so my adjacent side is negative 2. The hypotenuse is 11 here. I want to know what's this other side. Well, this side is going to be hypotenuse squared minus our leg squared. And that's square rooted. But we want to know the positive or negative root. Which one is it? It's the negative root because we're pointing down and sine is negative in the third quadrant. And that's going to give us negative square root of 117. And the sine is your opposite side. 
negative square root of 117 over the hypotenuse, which is 11. And that's it. All right, I hope this helped.